Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here. Gonna do a live commentary video for Total War Attila. This is for the Total War Attila, Attila League. And remember, this is the best two out of three, so Prussian Prince won the first match, I won the second match. This would be the third match. So, um, one of the big rules in this game is that you can't use the same faction more than once. So, I've already used the Eastern Romans, which I lost with. <laughs> and then I, then I used the, the Franks in the second battle. In this battle, I'm going to use the Alons. So actually, I'm using a very similar setup as my second battle. Does it seem to work in the first, or in the second battle? So I went with a core of uh, pike units here. Now, I don't have any problems bringing pikes in this game, as opposed to Rome 2, because in this game, the pikes are only 220. It's a very small percentage of the cost of your army. So I think in Rome 2, I think the cost of the pike should have been a lot cheaper, like they are on Attila. Because here now, I don't care if I lose these guys, because they're not that much money. And I got, I have support for them. I've got these guys supporting them. Let me save my setup just in case, so I don't have to redo this in the event it crashes here. Alon's League. So I'm pretty bummed I lost as the Eastern Romans because, well, the Eastern Romans are my favorite faction in this game, and I thought using the Eastern Romans would have been a, a sure a sure victory, but, you know, Prussian Prince, he freaking smoked him, and yeah, it was pretty sad. You know, I, I really also love the Huns a lot, like historically speaking, and I also like him in the game, but the, the League rules are maximum 6 cav. And as the Huns, that, that really doesn't really help the Huns out. So I, I don't even want to use the Huns in this because I think the rule for the Huns, it, it, it breaks the Huns basically, putting a max of six cav. So when I use a cav of the, when I, when I use the Huns, I like to max out, not max out, but I used to get like eight units of cav. And that would include my general too. So he is. Is he ready? I don't know. So I think my noble Germanic swords should be able to do better this time. I mean, my sword support for the pikes should be better. Here we go. So with the Western Romans, he can't make those funky deployments. So I think he's going to go back to his, um, you know, to the Prussian Prince deployment. That is uh, uh, breaking his army up into three parts. And if he does that, I should be able to just do like this, I guess. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. This. I'll have these guys nearby too. So I'll break my army into twos. Let's leave my general on this side. This is kind of like similar deployment as my first game, actually. But in the first game, uh, <laughs> Prussian Prince punished me when he deployed all those guys like on one side of my... He, like in the first game, he had a... a what do you call it, a guerrilla faction? So he had all of his guys right here. So I was racing to get my right wing over to my left, and he really punched me there. I think here I should be okay. Let's not make him too far apart, though. That'll be good. Actually, a little bit more. And uh, I'd rather lead with my pikes this time. And let my swords outflank. There we go. These guys are all together. That's not typical Prussian Prince deployment. 
Usually he divides his army into threes. Let's not run. So he has all these uh, skirmishers here. I just have to close the distance really fast. Actually, I'm going to drop my guys back before he gets close to me. Give my, my left wing a time to get there. So I'm going to pull back. So what does he have? Medium. He has some cataphracts. Equite, Promoti. I thought it's all cataphract in there. Yeah, he does have some cataphracts. I gotta avoid those uh, slingers though. Let's keep pulling this wing back. I'm gonna get my guys right over here. That'd be great. Let's go ahead and figure in a charge. I'm obviously going to pull back when I get there. Let's see if he, if he goes into it. I feel like saying Pac-Man. Pac-Man's pretty cool. We hunger for the Hunger Games. He's going to go for my, my pikes immediately. I can counter char I can charge these Palatinas. So I'll get a nice charge in on his Palatina. He doesn't seem worried about it though. Which leads me to believe I made a mistake. Let's pull back. Those slingers are horribly out of place. He's pulling his dudes out. He doesn't want to fight my pikes. Gotta keep pressing in here. Oh, there's a general. Let's get him. My general out. All right, I'm gonna go for a, a general fight with this general. Oh shoot, that that guy's free. I can take out the general there. Moving. 
Get in there. Okay, here is the trouble spot right here. See it? Where his general is? If I can take out that general, I might have a chance at this battle. Get over there, dude. Get over there. You too. The men are broken and running for their lives. Gosh, he's all that free those free caveats. I need to kill that general. He's going to get a rear charge on me too. That's not good. So he's going to try to pull his general out of there. And I'm going to try to pursue. Man, those Palatina, man, are really, really tough. Let's take out these slingers while I can. Here goes the general. Let's cast some fear on his general. Get over there, kill his general. Holy cow, kill him. Oh, that's gonna hurt my general. No! Let's receive this cab charge, hopefully. That's gonna smack my dudes. Oh no! Oh, he's got this. He's got this. If I can kill that general, that might be uh, something. That's my only hope right now is to kill that general. That's not what I want to hear. I don't hear that my men are killing the enemy dudes. Kill him! Oh no! Oh man. Oh well. 3 PP. Oh, he smacked me around that time. That matchup favored me too, but he, he destroyed me. Oh, very good game to the Prussian Prince. So intense.